Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you have no clue who I am, hi, my name is Michelle Ferre and I'm a fourth grade teacher in Maryland. For today's video, I wanted to go through and show you all exactly what I keep in my teacher bag. Now, I'll be honest, I have done these videos before, okay? However, I've grown, I've matured, and therefore the contents of my bag have changed. They haven't really grown or matured, but they are different. I recently posted my morning routine video and evening routine video, and I had an overwhelming number of questions about this backpack, where to get it, what I have inside of it, so I figured I'd just, you know, make one video so I could show it all to you. Let's start with the actual backpack. I got this from Amazon. It was pretty cheap, pretty affordable. I used to carry a lot of shoulder bags as my teaching bag, but I found that it started to really hurt my shoulder, especially when it was heavy, so I switched over to a backpack about two years ago, and it was one of the best decisions I have ever made. I feel like once I put a backpack on, it's a lot more secure, I don't have to worry about it falling off my shoulder, and it balances the weight a lot better on my back. Now the reason I picked this particular backpack, besides the fact that, you know, black and gold, I also really liked the handles up at the top. I liked that the zipper was nice and open because my old backpack had a flap that went over top and it just was not teacher friendly. I also just really like the layout of this backpack, where the pockets are, all that good stuff. So if you're interested, I will link it for you in the description box. Let's start with these side pockets. This one has, what even is in here? Oh, a chapstick that I ran out of a long time ago. But my other pocket does have my ID. So every day when I am driving from school to the gym, I take off my ID, I put it in this side pocket, and then in the morning when I come downstairs, it's one of the first things I put on because otherwise I'll forget. Then in the very front pocket, it's a small pocket. I don't have too much in here. I do have a phone charger because I feel like I just always need a phone charger. I do have a wireless charger for my phone at school. It's actually a little stand and I absolutely love it, but you just never know when you might need one of these. So I always keep that candy along with chapstick, but this one is actually not run out. I am one of those human beings where I just have a chapstick everywhere I go. I have a car chapstick, I have a classroom chapstick, I have a school bag chapstick, I have a nightstand chapstick. I just like to have chapstick everywhere just in case. So of course I have one in the front pocket and it's super convenient because if I'm in the car and my car chapstick has run out, I got a backup chapstick. And we're just gonna put this stuff back in here because I don't have time to clean up my mess tonight. All right, now let's go ahead and jump into the inside. So first of all, I'm gonna try to hold this up so you can see it, but I don't know how this is gonna go. But yeah, there you go, you can kinda see. There is this little pocket. I do not typically take my laptop to school. Every once in a while I do, but it's not often. So instead, I like to use this pocket for transporting any books or materials. So currently I have Hands On Standards Common Core. This is by ETA Hand to Mind. I absolutely love this book for math. It has all kinds of ways to make math hands on for students. This is great for differentiation and we just started a place value unit. So I brought this home over the weekend so I could look at it and get some ideas for how to differentiate my instruction for my students that really need that hands-on concrete approach. Then I do have this plastic case. Now I have shown this case in my videos before and I've always gotten questions about where to get it. I originally got these cases from Target. However, Target no longer carries them. But good news, you can get them on Amazon. They're kind of pricey-ish considering it's just a plastic container, but I love them because they perfectly fit all of my materials that I take home or things that I print out at home and want to take into my classroom, and I don't have to worry about them getting crinkled up in my backpack. So let's just see what I have in here because I honestly don't know. Okay, so I have some notes sheets that I printed up for my students this week. We are working on a place value and then after place value we go into rounding numbers. So I printed some copies at home so I can just take them to the copier in the morning. I also have some different templates that I made up. So this is a place value chart because my students will use this not only with place value but they also use it to help them with rounding. And I have the colors that match place value discs which are a manipulative that we use. So I printed these this weekend and laminated them and that's all that's not too bad usually I have papers in here from like months ago that I just never did anything with 
All right, let's go back into the backpack. The next thing I have in here is a notebook, and it says girl boss because <laughs> I'm not that self, uh, what's the right word? Nope, never mind. I can't do it. I always typically carry a notebook in my backpack because as much as I love technology, sometimes you just want to physically write something down. I actually just put this notebook in my backpack because my other one got filled up, so I'm excited to use it. And again, it has my favorite colors on it. Then I do have some books in here. So because I am teaching reading this year, I am back to doing guided reading, which I have not done in several years. I did guided reading when I taught second grade, but now that I'm teaching fourth grade, it's just a little bit different. So I brought home the novels that my groups are reading so that I could read ahead in them and plan out my instructions. So currently we are reading Cam Jensen and the Chocolate Fudge Mystery. Drake, 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 well, oh, no. Oh, Michelle, get your life together. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Jake, Drake, know it all. And then a dog's life. And my kiddos are all really liking them, which makes me happy. But I am bringing them home pretty much every night because I am struggling to get ahead. And that is my life this year. Next thing I have in here is a little zipper pouch that, again, <laughs> black and gold, there's a pattern. But inside of here, I just have little like pencil pouchy things that I tend to need. What are pencil pouchy things? Y'all know what I mean. So I have like flare pens that I use for grading. I have a Sharpie because you just always need a Sharpie. You know, when you write something in Sharpie, it seems a lot more powerful than it does otherwise. But it has a normal Sharpie at one end and a thin Sharpie at the other end, which is really convenient. I have a clip eraser because I make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> and then I have a binder clip because I feel like I always need those. I have scissors and then I have some sticky notes because ever since I started teaching reading this year, I feel like all I am ever doing is going through sticky notes at lightning speed. All right, moving on. Next thing I have in here is a hairbrush and there's probably, yep, there's hair on it, hold on. Listen, y'all, I have some pretty long hair, okay? And one thing it tends to do is it gets knotted throughout the day super easily. So I've learned my lesson. I always carry a hairbrush with me. I do have to brush my hair several times throughout the day. My friends Bridget and CJ, they love to make fun of me because when I was at Bridget's house, I would just randomly pull out my hairbrush and brush my hair. But those of you that have long hair, okay, I know you understand. Okay, one final thing. I really thought I had more in my book bag than this, but <laughs> I do have an extra pair of glasses and actually, they're the exact same pair that I'm currently wearing but these are my favorite glasses and so I ordered myself two pairs just in case anything ever happens to them because I have had one of my sides break off of my glasses during the day and it was absolutely miserable. I get a lot of questions about these glasses. They are from iBuyDirect which you put in your prescription online, pick out your frames, choose your lenses, order them and they're there within like a week or two. I was really apprehensive about ordering glasses online, but I'm so happy I did. I've been so surprised by the quality of them, and I just love that I get to go on and pick out new frames. These frames are called Notting Hill, and I have them in a small frame size. So if you're interested, I will link these down below, and I think I have like a code or something to save you money, so if I do, I will put that down below as well. And just like that, that is everything that I carry in my teacher bag. It's not much, but I've learned I don't need to take everything plus a kitchen sink home with me. You know, I can leave work at work, and I can only bring home the things that are absolutely necessary. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it out with your teacher friends, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Y'all know the drill by now. As always, thank you for watching. I love you all so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video and for supporting my YouTube channel. If you want to check out any of my older videos, you can use the two links right down here. If you want to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos, videos, you can use the link right up here. The links to all of my social media sites, my Teachers Pay Teacher store, my merchandise store, and my Amazon store are in the description box, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.